Hey guys, this is your Asu, and here with the LEGO Marvel Superheroes, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Realm Explorer set. So, this is the box itself right here, and as you can see, it's recommended for just 7 to 12, and this is set 76109, and comes with Kree Mafix. So, it comes with Ant-Man, you have the Wasp, and also comes with the Ghost. And you have a very nice logo of the Ant-Man and the Wasp right here, which, yeah. It looks really nice and yeah the box art here does look really nice with the quantum tunnel and yeah this is the top it shows you the new figures and the actual size of ant-man this is the side this is the other side and it does have a very nice artwork of uh, ant-man and the wasp and yeah this is the back so it shows you all of the features and all of the main figures and at the corner here you have a very nice uh, art of Ant-Man and the Wasp so aside from that that's pretty much it for the box so this is the instruction booklet for this set so this is the first page you have the backs you have the first page of the build and you have the final page of the build which uh, shows you the Power Blast uh, feature and uh, you have this advertisement here for the LEGO Life app and you have the parts list and yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for the instructions so these are the extra pieces of this set here so yeah there are quite a lot of so you have uh, this modified stud right here you have uh, this gray colored stud and you have this transparent stud you have the stud shooter piece you have this uh, connector and stud piece you have two of these black connectors and you have this bar piece that's on three sides you have uh, two of these uh, skate pieces uh, one in gold and the other one in silver you have this gold bucket piece you have this lever and you have this extra power blast piece and finally you have this extra round towel printed piece which looks really nice with this reflective surface but aside from that that's pretty much it for the extra pieces so the first main figure right here is Ant-Man so he has this very nice helmet mode here which is not new we have seen this before and it does look pretty good even though it's not accurate but yeah you have these red lenses right here which they do look pretty good and yeah the side you have a little bit of uh, this red highlight and yeah if you take off the helmet you can see you have uh, Scott's face which is pretty cool and for the torso print you have the Ant-Man suit you know you have uh, this very nice looking red kind of texture design type of thing and you have his belt with uh, all of his uh, tech and there are also some leg printing which is pretty cool and this is the back you have his scared expression and uh, you also have his back torso print which does also look uh, really nice and yeah aside from that that's um, pretty much it for Ant-Man and the second minifig right here is Wasp. So she has her helmet right here, which is the Invincible Iron Man helmet, which looks pretty bad on her. But yeah, the printing on there is pretty good. You have her visor right there without her eyes, and you have this breathing apparatus type thing. And for her torso print, you have all these gold detailing, and yeah, it does look really nice and it looks very accurate. And it's kind of unfortunate that. Uh, she doesn't have any leg printing but if you take off her helmet here you can see you got her face which looks really nice and very accurate and at the back you can see you have her alternate expression which is this kind of determined face and she does also have fairy wings which looks a little bit weird on her but if you remove that you can see you have her uh, back torso print with the device that activates the wings and you have her kind of belt part but yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the wasp. And the final main figure right here is the ghost. So she comes with her uh, power blast piece, which is really nice that they included it. And it fires when you push this part. And yeah, that works really well. And for the figure itself, she does come with a hoodie, which is uh, partially covering up the mask print. So for the mask print, yeah, it does look really nice and it looks really accurate. You have the red eyes, you have some red detailing down here and on top of here. And for the torso detailing, it also looks really nice. You know, I like all the complicated detailing. 
and yeah for the back you have her alternate expression and yeah the alternate expression is her and mask face which yeah we can put on the hoodie for the back torso print it does look really nice as well you have four of these kind of blue circle style thing and yeah they do look really nice and yeah overall the figure itself is very detailed so yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the ghost. So the set itself does also come with some accessories, uh, which is the trophy piece uh, in gold, which does look pretty good. I really like the mold of it. I'm not sure if it's new or not, but yeah, it does look uh, pretty good. And the second accessory is this canister, which yeah has a printed piece on top, which is really nice. And yeah, it's a very simple thing. And uh, lastly, you have the Ant Man's uh, shrink gun. It's also a very simple build, and yeah, does look really nice. Aside from that, that's pretty much it for all of the accessories. So this is the Quantum Vehicle build itself right here. So let's start with the front. So the front, you have two of these arm pieces, which you can clip something on there and you can move it up and down. And if you don't like it, you can move it down there and kind of hide it or you can just detach it if you want to. But yeah, the main canopy piece is made up of uh, three pieces, which are the double canopy piece and also two of these round canopy piece and they have some detailing on them and they do look really nice and how you get access into the cockpit is by folding out these two pieces and uh, moving up this main bubble canopy piece which is connected by these hinge pieces and you can move this up and inside there's uh, enough seat for one minifigure and you have these joysticks at the side which the minifigure can hold and at the back you have Ant-Man's uh, shrink gun which is clipped on there so that's definitely great that you get a clip inside the vehicle and you can put in Ant-Man in there to pilot the quantum vehicle and yeah he sits in there very comfortably so yeah that's definitely great and at the bottom here you have these skits tough thing and yeah they have stud shooters on them uh, one on each side and they shoot out these transparent studs and yeah there's also one on this side and the side here you have some detailing and yeah it's all stickers and you have this binocular piece right here same thing can be said for the other side and you also have some wearing detailing which is also a sticker and it's on both sides and here you have a helicopter skid piece which is quite a big piece and yeah uh, they do look weird but they don't really take away the look of the quantum vehicle that much and yeah on the top here you have the engine part which you have some roller skate pieces and you have some of these exhaust pieces and they are uh, connected by a ball joint so you know you can kind of pose it around if you want to and there's uh, two modes uh, for the engine you can put it like this and make it into hover mode and you can put it like this and make it into uh, flight mode and yeah it's uh, great that you can kind of change different modes and use it around and in the middle section you have three of these mufflers not sure what they do but they do look really nice and you have uh, more of these binocular pieces and yeah on the top here you have uh, these two roller skate pieces and you have uh, the top of the bucket piece uh, clipped on here and you have more of the wiring detailing and you have some more of the detailing and yeah at the side you have uh, the roll cage pieces and yeah it's on both sides and yeah that's uh, really it for the top so at the bottom there is four of the slider plate pieces and you can see more of the construction and you can see the helicopter skip piece and you can also see this uh, weird modified piece which looks really nice and yeah aside from that that's um, pretty much it for the quantum vehicle build so overall conclusion of this set here so how do you think of it 
Well, I definitely think this set here is um, pretty cool. Um, the figures, I think they are fine. Ant-Man and Ghost, they look great, and I don't have any problems with that. It's just that maybe uh, they could have used the new Ant-Man helmet for the Avengers Endgame sets a little bit more earlier. And yeah, I think uh, if they use that on Ant-Man and also the Wasp, then this set would have been perfect. Speaking of the Wasp, she has a terrible helmet. Uh, she could really use a new helmet piece. So, not sure why they didn't use that a little bit more earlier, and yeah, this just looks really bad, and LEGO should just stop repurposing the Invincible Iron Man helmet. And the fairy wings uh, also look very bad on this figure. They could have used, like, uh, a transparent wing piece, or one of those uh, plastic wing pieces that uh, that was included for the Parademon minifigures for the Justice League sets. You could have used that instead of this piece because this just looks really weird. So they could have put more effort into the figures. And she really needs a leg printing as well because the figure just looks a little bit too plain. And for the build, I think the build here is fine. It works really well and it looks pretty accurate actually. And uh, for these extra pieces, uh, I mean the trophy piece is pretty nice to get and it's also nice to get another printed piece. So if you want to get this set just for the figures, I don't recommend you getting it because it's just not worth it. You should just get the bootleg versions of uh, these figures or just brickling them and yeah that, that would be better but if you want the entire set then you should definitely get it it's a pretty good set it's just this figure that's the problem of this set you should get it if you like it but if you only want it for the figures don't get it so buy links to the set here down in the description box below along with my social media pages down in the description so if you like my channel make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here so that's it for the video thanks for watching and i'll see you very soon